there's a way you can have multiple scenes in one Blender project file. And it all involves this tab right here. There are four different options when creating a new scene. The first one is new, the second is copy settings, the third is linked copy, and the fourth is full copy. I will show you what each of them do and how to use them. Let's get into it. So let's start with the first one. So you have a little scene set up like this. To create a new scene, all you have to do is come up here, hit this new scene button, and the new setting will create a brand new empty scene. It won't have the default cube, the camera, or the point light that it normally comes with. And the difference between the original scene and this would also be found in the render engines. This one is set to Eevee, but if I were to set this to Cycles, I can go back to the other scene and it'll still be Eevee. Now, the second option is create a new scene with the same settings. So in this scene, as you can see, I'm in Eevee, and let's go ahead and check Bloom. If I were to hit Duplicate and Copy Settings, that'll create a new scene with the Eevee Render Engine and check Bloom. It'll copy all the scene settings all the way down to color management and everything else, but it won't import any of the models into it. It just copies the scene settings. And the next setting is linked copy. So if we hit new linked copy, I'll just go ahead and name it that so we make sure we know what it is. And what we can do is in linked copy or the original scene, no matter what changes we make to the pose or whatever we do in the scene, it will go over to the original. So if I head over back to scene, it looks the exact same. Now, if we go to the render engine, if I were to switch scenes render engine to cycles like this, we get this render. The reason the textures are glitching out is because they're tuned shaders, so it doesn't work in cycles. But anyways, if we go back to linked copy, as we can see, we're still rendering in Eevee. I don't see there being much use for this other than to render in the different engines and see what looks better. Obviously, these are tuned shaders, so they'll only work in Eevee. But if you had materials that were not tuned shaders, it'd be nice to see how it looks in Eevee versus cycles without having to forget or change any settings. And the final option is to create a full copy. And what this will do, it will literally copy the scene entirely without linking anything. Essentially, I can now pose him however I'd like to. And let's say we wanted to pose like this. And we can go back to the original and nothing has changed here. This can be really nice if you're working on a model or some sort of animation and you want to see what a new change would look like without having to delete keyframes or anything. You can just go ahead and create yourself a full copy and try something new out without any consequences. And if you ever want to delete an extra scene, you can just go up here and hit this X. Now, be careful hitting this X because it won't ask you, like, are you sure you want to delete or not? It will just straight up delete it. But yeah, those are the four ways you can add new scenes in one Blender project file. I hope this tip will help you organize your projects better. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, it'd be awesome if you left a like on the way out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.